Well, welcome back guys, to another one of my prophetic attempts to be entertaining yet educational. So in this video, I will discuss about the history of a circle. Yes, I know that it is one of the dumbest lessons that I can ever think of, and I have nothing to defend myself for that. But hey, I cleared up in the last episode that you will never learn anything useful in this series, so go click away if you're not here for the comedy. So I came up with this thought when I was just eating cereals in a warm morning, when I looked at my box of Fruit Loops and wondered, what is the history of a circle? Yes, that random idea just popped right out of my mind. And then I thought of looking around the internet for an answer to this very serious and challenging question that can shape humanity. At first, I thought that the internet wouldn't have the answer, but then first glance at Wikipedia, and I found a section of an article about circles that talks about the goddamn history behind it. Well, what do you know? I should be surprised that the internet gave me such answer, but we are talking about the internet after all. The same place that you can find furries fornicating each other, and people fighting all around because they have a personal opinion about stuff. But in my opinion... Hey, are you about to give your own view on a certain topic? Oh, um, of course not. Man, it's a good thing that I'm not talking about politics in this episode. So let's start with the lesson. So the word circle is derived from the Greek word kirkos, meaning hoop or ring. However, if you're looking at when circles are invented, well, I have to question first if you have anything better to do in life. But to answer your question, you naive person, circles have been around even before the beginning of recorded history. However, there's no source I can find that talks about who first slapped his head and discovered a shape that will change the future. However, I found out in the Wikipedia article that early science, particularly astrology, geometry, and astronomy, had once believed that there was something divine or perfect that can be found in circles. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know... This is just one of the days when I will sit back and be glad that I live in a time when people actually know what is ridiculous and what's not. I think. But hey, I am making a bunch of people from the distant past look insane. That's not my job. That is their job. So going back to circles, since I covered up this ridiculous question about when circles are made, let's look at some historical highlights about the shape. Number one. In 1700 BC, a man by the name of Rind Papyrus has once found a solution to finding the area of a circle. You may know it as a pie with a square of R's. Oh, and along with that, we found pi. Oh, oh, not that pi. Ha, ha, ha. Number two. In 300 BC, someone decided to write a book about circles. Sorry, what? So someone actually decided to write a book about circles? Who's the author's name? Euclid? Well, that guy must have had trouble dealing with society. Oh, hey, what are you doing today? Oh, I'm going to write a book about circles. Oh. Okay. Well, how about you, fellow Greek pilgrims? We're going to do some rituals so that we can heal ourselves. Well, I can't believe that we aren't dead yet. I'm not joking about the ritual thing. I have a source down below so you can check that out. So going back to Euclid, he made a series of books called Euclid's Elements. In his third book, he talked about the properties of a circle. Such properties are inscribed angles and tangents. This has to be the earliest documentation of such things. Is it worth showing off to your friends? Nope. Number three! In 1880, Carl Louis Ferdinand von Lindemann proved that the number pi was a transcendental number. Which means it isn't algebraic, or that it is not a root of a non-zero polynomial equation with integer, or equivalently, rational coefficients. And if you don't understand smart talk, it basically means that the number is not a letter that you'll find in algebra. Geez, can math just be simple for once in my life? And finally, number four. There's no number four. Screw this lesson. I don't know why people would want to know about this. I mean, I get that the lessons that came from these people are useful, to some extent. But would people want to know how a shape with no corners has come to be? The history of a circle is not helpful. It ain't even interesting. So why are people documenting the progress of a simple circle? Just get out there, you historians. Gather some useful modern stuff. And maybe check out the vanilla show. You know, just saying.